Andreas, can you tell me when ERCP is used in your practice? ERCP, it's always used, or 99% of the times used for therapeutic purposes. And we usually see these patients in our clinic that are referred to us or we're seeing them for the first time, depending on the lab findings or the complaints that the patients may have. And we're using this most of the time to bypass an obstruction or to remove stones. ERCP can be done in the bile duct site or in the pancreatic duct site. So depending on the findings, depending on the complaints, you know, it's going to depend on what we're going to be doing. So it's very important for us to see these patients in clinic, know exactly what brought the patient to our office, why we're seeing the patients, what's abnormality, so we can act and either fix it or help come up with an answer to guide treatment and subsequently fix the problem. By far, we're doing this the most for stone disease, either in the bile duct or in the pancreatic duct. And frequently also, we see this in patients uh, with tumors. So it's extremely important that we go to the procedure knowing what the findings are and with a, at least a good idea of what we're aiming out of the procedure so we can solve the problem. I think some of the times in our practice, it's used in an in emergency procedure as well. So I think we do you see patients who come to the endoscopy suite because of an emergent indication. Typically, they have an infection in their bile duct uh, called cholangitis. This is when a stone is stuck there and there's an infection behind that stone, and they can be deathly ill. The same thing can happen in somebody with gallstone pancreatitis in certain situations as well, where a stone becomes lodged within the bile duct at the bottom part of the bile duct and is unable to get out. We need to relieve that pressure by doing some therapeutic intervention. So I think that's another good indication that we have for ERCP. Absolutely. I think that you bring up a very good point. It can be elective or it can be urgent. It can be as an outpatient or it can be a patient that is coming in through the emergency department with a real acute problem.